When was the last time you had ice cream? How cold do you reckon it was? Negative 10 degrees Celsius? Negative 15 degrees Celsius? At atom ionics, we regularly cool down atoms to 2 microkelvin. That's 129 million times colder than an ice cream. If you got a brain freeze from having one last time, wait until you lick our atoms. Attaining such low temperatures allows us to precisely measure the forces acting on these atoms, and develop sensors that are orders of magnitude more sensitive than what has been possible. But how do we do it? To answer that, let us take a closer look at the insides of the mysterious box that is Gravio. Inside the box sits a vacuum chamber containing a collection of rubidium atoms that are chilling around. To chill them further, we bombard them with lasers from all sides to slow them down because reducing the kinetic energy of atoms reduces their temperature. Imagine a car traveling on a highway at 100 kilometers per hour when suddenly a thousand tiny ping pong balls are fired at it at 5,000 kilometers per hour. The car would come to a halt. At atom ionics, the car is the atom and the ping pong balls are photons of the laser beam. Once the atoms have slowed down enough, their wave nature becomes more apparent and they start behaving less like particles and more like waves. This makes it easier for us to measure the forces acting on them, a property which we have exploited to create an extremely sensitive gravimeter. These ultra-cold atoms are trapped in a magneto-optical trap via the circular coils you see here, which are switched off to allow the atoms to fall. While they are falling, we hit the cloud of atoms with a pulse to split it into two groups. These groups are differentiated based on their energy state. Midway through the fall, we hit them with another pulse to reverse the energy states of the atoms. And towards the end, one last pulse recombines the clouds into one. Upon recombination, an interference pattern is generated due to the external forces that had been acting on the two clouds of atoms. This interference pattern is analyzed to provide gravity data. And once we have this gravity data, well, that's when things get exciting. Visit our website to learn more.